So there is the offer, there is the demand. The offer will decline, and the, and the demand will grow. We are in this moment where the bank systems do not allow people to access to property. So some of us are like, hey, it's great. The price of the the price of the of the housing will drop, and they started to drop. Some experts say that we will drop to 20, 25 percent. Awesome, but if you cannot get a loan, it will be quite hard. So let's say that we will go on the rent market. That rates of 15 percent since the start of the year. So we are at the moment on a situation where you cannot have access to property, and it's 15 percent more expensive to get uh, to get a place to rent. Why? We don't have enough objects on the market. The city, Luxembourg City, has to become one major actor of the real estate, of the affordable housing. In it's not at the moment we have 640, 850. 850. So let's say, so let's, so let's say on the 40 last years where that, that uh, of that uh, of that momentum, it's 20 per year. Just an average calculation. Is this enough? I don't think so. We shouldn't be happy about that. We shouldn't be, it shouldn't be sufficient. It's an emergency and we need to act. So definitely more and way more investment that it's at the moment it's right. I, I want to put that question to you as well. Um, uh, because of course affordable housing, we think people now maybe on low incomes, but this is actually also a problem for businesses. And I can tell from people who help others to relocate to the country. If you are on a decent salary, you can't find a place to live in Luxembourg. Single rooms go for a thousand euros per month. A single room that you have to share your living and your kitchen with other people and maybe also your bathroom. Studio apartments go for 1600 per month. That means if you're on a decent salary as an IT person or, or a beginning banker, you can't afford to live in the city. That's uh, absolutely a problem that uh, we, we have what the, about the figures that uh, uh, Gabriel just said? They are not tr not true. The last uh, this this uh, well, let's say for the last uh, five years we built um, well we built and renovated because we have to do it with those persons who living in, uh, around 400. Also renovating and those who are in the way to be to be built. But there is a real, there is a problem because we try to have an um, an offer, who is um, for all ones for for um, social social um, well people who are really cannot afford that are not those people who are you are speaking of, um, but we have also uh, houses which we sell. And I'll just give you uh, one example which comes back to the crisis that Gabriel was just uh, describing and which is real. real. We have been selling, and it was on the market, uh, 17 houses, houses, very nice houses in Ham. Uh, they will be built now, and they are on the way to be built. And for these 17 houses, which, are, uh, which were offered on a very, very good price, because uh, uh, the, the ground uh, is paid in 99 years, so it's nearly the value of the ground is uh, very, very small. We had only 24 offers. 24 offers. Because people, indeed, did not get the loans. So we have now, uh, we, we are among the, next to the other crisis that you described, and we, we know it, uh, we have now entrepreneurs who come and uh, try and, and ask to build housings for the people who work for them. The crisis is multiple in construction. It is a crisis uh, of also um, well skills, skills, and uh, human resources. They need, they need because they, they have the people that they uh, are employing. Well, they know best what they are paying them for, and what they are paying them for, they can no more, they, they no, don't find people uh, for that. So, not we, what can, so the crisis is there, that's, that's from, that's uh, a reality. Uh, what we now can, uh, can do, and what we will do, and what we are doing, we have a lot of projects for building 
Uh, but for, um, I mean, we will not selling them. We will not selling them. We will keep them, and they, we will rent them. But also for, and there we have really to shift. We cannot only do it on the criteria of social, really only social criteria. I mean, people who who have really less than them, who most of them don't even work. Hmm? Uh, but the social criteria which are foreseen in the law are so low that the people who are working, who are working, cannot take profit of that. So we have to really shift from only the social um, possibilities to those pe to to give possibilities to people who work. But as you said, how did you uh, the, give the definition for? Um, not not too high uh, salaries. For decent salaries. Decent salaries. Well, for for decent salaries, but I, I suppose you, they are a little bit lower than better decent salaries. So, so for the decent salaries, yes, we have to go on the market, and that we only have it in a very small proportion. We call that the um, affordable affordable uh, housing possibilities, and we have to go much more into that direction just for these cases that you just described. Sorry, in the interest of time, I see people are disagreeing, but uh, let's skip to, um, uh, to, to um, well, one question maybe about, uh, like here, the Avenue de la Gare, uh, there's a lot of shops that are empty. 27% empty. Well, what's the reason for that? Not enough shoppers, not the uh, rent too high? Uh. Well, I, I think <coughs> also for, for the policy that we make with uh, with businesses and local businesses, I think that the, the, the city has a lot of money on the sides, huh? one billion to be clear, and I think in the future the, the city should also uh, try to, to rent more of these to give them to people who want to entrepreneur, who want to make a shop, and which also <laughs> cannot uh, pay these rents. I think that also the city should uh, buy more of these of these spaces to rent them, etc. And even when we are building new neighborhoods, it's important uh, that the city also buy these local uh, these local these spaces uh, because we really need in the neighborhoods uh, uh, little businesses and people want this, and it's really important for livable neighborhoods. It's a chain reaction. Sorry, uh, Francois is right. This is on part of the solution. Definitely is on a. Uh, the, uh, an action of the city, but it's a chain reaction that happened in the area of the Gare, where uh, I work, where some of uh, your uh, your candidates work, work too. Uh, uh, it starts with uh, uh, some decisions. We change the circulation in one of the main axes overnight. Ask to the to the to the retailers that are there, 15 percent, 20 percent, 10 percent. They say that they drop their turnover. Then. Uh, the, that's not the, the, that's maybe the trend, but that's a decision. That's a decision that has been made by the by the by the circulation uh, circulation services in accord to the to to, to, to the local the local politician. And then there was the tram the tram uh, works that completely tear the part the area of the gar completely tear the part. So we can discuss about the management of those works, how they happened, how uh, insecurity or feeling of insecurity happened in that area, because this is definitely your transition to the next topic, I guess, if you talk about uh, retail and being empty. And I've, I must say, I've read the questions before on the topic, so there is no suspense. I'm not that smart. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you didn't read your email? <laughs> the, um, so all those, all those elements, the, the non-action also of the local politics in that area made that for any not smart, but for any quite intelligent or normal entrepreneur, you will not go in an area that, that is dropping. Why would you go in a place where everything is empty? Or just for the, for the fun of losing money? So, no, no, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. If you have, we have, and that's what Francois just said, we have to have a political action to invert, to invert that chain reaction. And this is important, if not, this will not change, and this is not uh, this is not a three months pop up policy that will change. Even though it's very good, it's very good ideas, even to make it on the longer term. It's to change the authorization that we have here, to bring some association, to bring some clubs of sport, to bring some lead life life into the area again. 
which is missing definitely. We're running out of time, and I want to give some time for the, for the audience to ask questions as well. Um, security, we're in the guard, so we need to talk about security. Um, <laughs> when I came, uh, sometimes when I have friends over from Amsterdam, I'm from Amsterdam, and uh, we go here uh, in the guard, I live here. So they're surprised at what they see, because that was, it was like that in Amsterdam in the 1970s, early 1980s. You don't see that anymore. Now. You do not see drug users in the street. You don't see people standing on the corners of the street. How come that this has gone so wrong in the city? <laughs> Speaking out of my heart. Hmm? It's, it's, it's a fact, and I think well, it's, it's also a complex issue because it, it's, it's not just about uh, more police and presence, but it's also about more uh, police presence because that's also why we think that we should also reintroduce a local police uh, force because it's very frustrating also for the, the mayor and the deputy mayors that we don't have any police force under our authority anymore. It was 30 years ago, it was a decision with a different country back then to have one, lo one police force and not local so and the national one. Will it will the but it's population? something that we're going to advocate for, but that's something I'm going to change on national level because we need a new law. Can you decide yourself? Yeah. Can you decide? Yes, we have it in our program. No, me too. And you too. So, uh, <laughs> so to us. Voilà. Oh, yeah. But that oh, can yes. only be done, of course, of course on the national level. No? Mm -hmm. But the, the security problem uh, here on the car, I mean, uh, people who are a little bit interested in the politics of the city know for how long I have been uh, trying to, to make people uh, aware of the situation and that it cannot continue like this. And you know also what we are doing.